What is going on guys, Sri Kanase here. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about the top landing pages that you can use for your Shopify store. Landing pages are one of the biggest gold mines if you know exactly how to implement them within your business. And I don't care what you sell. You could be selling beauty products or products for dogs or any other type of product that you could think of. A landing page will definitely boost your conversion rate no matter what conversion rate you have on your Shopify store. So the main reason as to why we even use landing pages over normal Shopify stores is because they kind of have a purpose behind them. Think about it, when you land on a normal Shopify store, whether it is your own Shopify store or somebody else's, where do your eyes first go? Now if you're like normal people, your eyes would start at the very top, maybe look at the menu, see what items they have in the menu, then look at the logo and then finally go down towards the image, description, etc. But those first few seconds that a customer lands on your website are the most important seconds for you because that is exactly when they decide within a click of a second whether they want to purchase from your store or not. So that is why it becomes so important to know exactly how to utilize these single landing pages for your Shopify store. Now a great thing that you can be doing is using both landing pages and your Shopify storefront together to really take your income to the next level. But if you have never tried a single landing page yet and only relied on Shopify stores, this is a video you're gonna wanna watch until the end. But let's just jump right into it. So exactly why landing pages in the first place? Why not just rely on what you already have which is your Shopify storefront. We already kind of talked about this, but one more key metric regarding having a Shopify store versus a normal landing page is the average conversion rate of a Shopify store is roughly 1.75%. And this is the industry average around the world. Compare that to a single landing page conversion rate, which is 2.35%. That translates to a roughly 0.6% more conversion rate than the normal Shopify store. And of course, this is just the base number. I've had landing pages where the conversion rate was sometimes 5% and up to 10%. Now in the two years that I've been doing Shopify dropshipping, I've never achieved conversion rates of about 10% on my Shopify store itself. But I was able to achieve that with a single landing page. So that tells you how powerful a single landing page is. Now you may be thinking, what is the difference between a single landing page and a Shopify store product page? Don't they do the same exact thing and don't they have the same exact product that you want to sell? And while that is definitely true, with a landing page, you're basically creating a funnel. And with a funnel, everything is very systematic and direct and straightforward. So when you use a single landing page, you're basically telling customers exactly what steps they have to take. There is no thinking that the customer has to do themselves. You are basically doing the action taking for them. And there are basically only three things that can be done on a single landing page compared to a Shopify product page. On a single landing page, a customer has the option of either buying your product, leaving their email with you, through the exit intent pop-up or just leaving in general without doing either of those things. There are only three options for them to take. And compare that to a Shopify storefront product page where they can either click on the menu, go to your about us section, go to the shipping FAQ section and on and on and on. And when somebody leaves the main product page and goes to this other page, their buying intent just goes down into a hole. And that is why the conversion rate is lower for a normal Shopify storefront compared to a single landing. And there's one saying which I always live by when it comes to e-commerce. The less you make a customer work, the more they will want to do your work. Or basically, the more they will do what you want them to do. And in this case, most of you want them to purchase from you. To emphasize how a landing page should be made, I want to go ahead and show you guys one example of a very, very good landing page. And this is from one dropshipping store, which I know personally is absolutely killing it. They have roughly 50 to 20 VAs working for them currently. And this store is the Buddha Power Store. So what I also want to show you is the Shopify page where they have their store front and all of their items listed. So when they began their journey, they were just using a normal Shopify store as you would to sell their products. So as you can see, it is in the Buddha niche, 
but they sell fashion accessories like bracelets they also have a lot of necklaces and other stuff but this is what their general store looks like but when they started getting more results that's when they converted to a single landing page and one of their best selling products is this bracelet right here and they're using a very well known landing page funnel builder called click funnels so as you can see right from the beginning this landing page is very very simple yet straightforward and we'll be going over the exact strategy as to how you should be laying out these landing pages but this is exactly how a landing page looks there is no menu on the top there are no distractions nowhere for them to click and they only have three options either they can click on the yes i want the pie wealth bracelet to buy the product either they can leave their email with this store or they can just simply leave. So as you can see, just three options. But let's go back to our Google Doc and continue on with the exact layout as to how it should be done. So what makes a landing page a good landing page? Let's go ahead and compare this list directly to our example over here. So let's start all the way from the top and look at this in mobile device view because majority of the buyers do come from a mobile device. So what makes a landing page a good landing page? The first thing that you can have on your landing page which will really help define it and make it a good landing page overall is to have a clean and clear video or an image right when someone lands on the landing page and for this step i highly recommend that you have a video instead of an image because videos are some of the most highly converting things you can have in your store so if we go ahead and go back to the buddha power store we can see that right when somebody lands on their mobile device on this product page there is a very simple video right over here and it looks like it's just a video showcasing exactly what the product is and how it can help so this video is not just showing the product itself but showing a monk meditating so it is a very very eye-catching video and will make any customer want to watch until the end but after this video there's some text outlined over here and if we go back to our Google Doc the next thing that they have is the products USP also known as the unique selling proposition why should somebody buy your product in the first place what is so good about it this should be explained right after your video or image and the buddha power store does a great job of having this as you can see right after the video they say attract never-ending flow of money good luck and abundance with pi yao as citrine and this goes on to explain these words and exactly what they mean so right away they're telling the users the unique selling proposition of this bracelet now remember a bracelet is just something you wear around your wrist but the buddha power store adds a lot of meaning to it and they say that with their bracelet you're gonna attract never-ending flow of money good luck and abundance i mean who would not want to attract those things into their life so this is their unique selling proposition and they're also adding more info by explaining what these words mean so this is why this is such a good landing page itself because they start off with their video and explain more details regarding the video and the product itself with their unique selling proposition and after their unique selling proposition they have a very very clear call to action some people make the mistake of having the call to action button all the way at the very bottom and that is a huge mistake that you can do if a customer by the time they're done scrolling through one fourth of your website or landing page have not seen a clear call to action button they're 50 percent more likely to just exit and not buy from you so the buddha power store does a great job of having this clear call to action button right below their unique selling proposition but they don't stop there they continue on with adding more photos of the product because right now so far there's not a single photo of the product but this is a very good move because they add it right after the clear call to action button and their unique selling proposition and the video as you can see this is a very very clear and laid out funnel they just didn't come up with this specific layout overnight they spent thousands and thousands of dollars testing different things before they found something that works and this is exactly what is working for them and something that you should be implementing on your site but here they have the clear photo of the product and now here is where they have the title and the cost of the product and this is followed by some basic information such as the weight bead size material etc and another clear call to action button but after those things you should be having the reviews right after that and the Buddha Power Store does exactly that. Right after the second clear call to action button, they have the review saying their customers absolutely love it. 
and they have quotes from their customers along with customer photos. So again, something that is very laid out and thought out. They did not come with this overnight. This is a six figure product landing page. I have no doubt that this landing page has a conversion rate of 5% or more. But the one key thing you want to notice is that the landing page itself is very, very simple. There is no fancy color or texture or any other jazz added to it. It is just simple text, simple video and simple photos added to it. Nothing too fancy. And that's that's the thing when it comes to landing page builders and landing pages. Simple works best and the Buddha Power Store clearly showcases how simple it should be. There is nothing too fancy going on about this store and that is exactly what you should be following. After the reviews you should be focusing on the cart page because the cart page is something that is very different from a normal Shopify store. Now if we go on to the cart page of the Buddha Power Store we can see that they continue to have more text and more photos on the cart page. So what they're saying on their cart page is they're directly telling the customers exactly what they get in their order. They get the bracelet, they get a beautiful box packaging for the bracelet and they get free shipping. So these are all key things which make a customer want to continue down the funnel and make them want to go ahead and purchase. But after this, they also talk about a free bonus that the customers get if they order today right now. This is something that you may not have the ability to do, but if you can include some type of free item, I highly recommend that you do that because this is really telling them that for $30, they're getting much more than what they bargained for or what they're originally getting. So in essence, the Buddha Power Store is doing a great job of increasing the perceived order value of their product. And this is followed by all of these trust badges and finally the boxes where they can enter their shipping information and the quantity and all of that. One key thing which I outlined in the Google Doc is you should have a special order bump on the cart page. And this can be added with whatever funnel builder app that you use. And I'll be mentioning the top five funnel builder apps that you should be using very very, very soon but the order bump goes right below this final button which says place your order and the order bump should say something like we saw that you ordered item X why not add item Y as well so we're kind of giving them an upsell right on the cart page and this has one of the highest conversion rate for upsells especially if you add it on the checkout page itself and this is followed by having a checkout that is on the same page as you can see for the Buddha power store it is all on the same page there's no additional pages where a customer has to click through unlike a Shopify store where on page one they would enter their shipping information on page two they would enter their credit card information and so on having everything on one page really increases the conversion rate and that is one benefit when it comes to having a funnel page rather than a Shopify storefront. So what are the top funnel builders that you can be using that follow all of the specific guidelines and strategies we mentioned just now? I have five on my list in no particular order, but let's go ahead and go over all of them. The first one is Funnel Builder. Funnel Builder is a great funnel building software that I have personally used and found great results with. And I'm not an affiliate with any of these funnel building softwares, but with Funnel Builder, what I found is that it is basically a very, very easy drag and drop process. So there's no coding that you have to do. And especially if you're lazy, just like me, you can simply drag and drop things and make them work for your business. But make sure that they follow the exact strategy of what makes a landing page good. But the second funnel building software that I've personally looked over is Gem Pages. This is directly available on the Shopify app store and it has really good reviews as well. So it is definitely worth a try. The third one is Shogun Landing Page Builder. Again, available on the Shopify app store and lets you customize according to how you want with easy drag and drop features, no coding required. The fourth one is PageFly. Now compared to the others, PageFly is not something I personally like because I felt that the templates weren't that great. But that is because my main store is in a niche and the templates available for PageFly weren't really that great for my niche. So that is why I personally did not like PageFly. But nonetheless, it is a great software that you can be using to build these funnel pages. And the fifth and final one is ClickFunnels. Particularly, I had this in the fifth position because I don't really recommend that you use ClickFunnels for building a funnel page if you're trying to sell e-commerce products. And the main reason behind this is that ClickFunnels really has a lot of things that go in the background, such as personal scripts that really slow it down. So with a lot of ClickFunnel landing pages, I've noticed that they're really slow compared to these other funnel landing pages. But if you don't like any of these other landing pages, again, ClickFunnel will be your last choice. But I highly recommend that you use these other top four landing pages 
over click funnels unless you have a way of reducing the landing page speed but that is exactly how you can be using landing pages for your own shopify business to really increase the conversion rate and also give your customers a very personal and directed experience because with this personal and directed experience you're going to have more buyers and as a result you're going to have more money coming in but if you found any type of value in this video make sure to smash that like button down below and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you guys next time